Welcome to Review. My name is Kevin Messina. I'm the Athletic Director here. Uh, today is a good day. Today is uh, a day when we can send people off to college. And that's a beautiful thing. When, uh, when, when we sign folks to football scholarships, that's a beautiful thing. That is, uh, that is a great thing. It's been a tough thing lately. I don't know if you guys follow scholarships and this and that and the other thing, but Folks have gotten all these extra COVID years, so that has been eating up the scholarships that are available to give to kids that are coming out now. So um, we're finally starting to get to the point where everybody's out of their COVID years and, and we can get back to business and get some high school kids a scholarship. That in the, between the transfer portal and the extra COVID years, it has been very tough to sign a high school athlete to a, a college scholarship. But here we are, doing three one day so that's a beautiful day. All right welcome everybody. We appreciate all the students, teachers, admin, families, and people from the community uh, for coming out today to celebrate this accomplishment of these three young men in our football program. We could not be any more proud of these young men than we are today. These three players signing today will be my first set of seniors uh, signing a letter of intent to play uh, college football in my career as head coach. To the younger players in the audience, let these three young men signing today be an example to you through that uh, hard work and determination on the field and in the classroom, your dreams can come true. All three of these young men today signing uh, all have a GPA above a 4.0. Every high school coach I spoke with after the season would always tell me, man, that number three is special. Harry scored 23 touchdowns this season. He ran for 12, caught 10, and even passed for a touchdown. He was voted first team All-Western Conference. He also received the National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Award. Harry's leadership and playmaking ability will truly be missed, but I think one of his best qualities is how selfless he is. This season, I uh, tied in Bryce had six catches for 123 yards, a touchdown, and a two-point conversion. It was pretty good stats for a tight end. Bryce was also a huge part of our rushing attack that went for 2,110 yards and 31 touchdowns on the season. We'll miss Bryce for his uh, uh, sure, being a sure-handed wide receiver, uh, we could always count on him to make plays. Who could ever forget his big play uh, versus Leonard in the spring game? We ran the ball like 35 times and threw the ball, uh, uh, Harry threw the ball deep and uh, the crowd went, went, went crazy. And then uh, also the first play versus Strawberry Crest when he caught that little trick play from Brigham. Right? That was pretty cool. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Zion. You know, uh, for me, this is a very special uh, day and moment for me. My son signed a scholarship about two or three years ago, and I can remember the excitement that I had uh, when he committed. And um, personally, I thought I wasn't going to be able to feel that same excitement again until my 13-year-old signed. But um, when Zion signed, I remember talking to him and talking to his mom and talking about how I was able to feel that excitement a little bit earlier um, than I had expected. Um, Zion is a great kid. Uh, I've known him and coached him for about three years now. Um, him and I have a very special bond, just like I do with all of my athletes. But um, with him, it's a little, it's a little bit different. Um, he's more like family to me. Um, I'm very proud of him as a student athlete that he is. He has a 4.5171 GPA. <laughs> Man, I couldn't be more proud, you know what I mean? I know all the hard work and determination they went through, uh, you know, to, for it to pay off like this at the end where they're signing uh, to go play college football. It's, it's it's the dream come true, you know? This is my first class, too, you know, uh, to uh, to go off and play college football as a head coach. So it's uh, it's it's going to be very, very – this group of guys are very special to me. I think Coast Guard, just because the opportunity afterwards, trying to become a pilot, it's what's best for me. Financial, it's the best option. I feel like it was the best opportunity for me and my family. I always wanted to go to college and play for free. So Living Summer was giving me a full ride, and I just took it. And I know that I can improve when I get there, and I'll just keep making sure I go to college for free. I really like the location. Uh, the weather, definitely a lot colder. And just my best option. You see, you get these guys as freshmen. I remember Harry, for example, as a freshman coming in. We throw him at quarterback, and every time we drop back to pass, he runs. You know what I mean? Come to find out senior year, we figure him out, and now he's a, a slot back running back for us, you know? So 
it's fun. You know, we got guys that are freshmen, sophomores, and juniors that we've been working with, and we're, it's their time now, you know. And, and so, just to name a couple, we got guys like Showtime, Isaiah Washington, you know what I mean, uh, Aaron Turner, you know, and uh, Rico Schultz, guys like that. We're looking forward to them now stepping up and filling those filling those roles on the offensive side. Defensively, we got, you know, guys like Frankie and Nico and, and – uh, other guys in our secondary like Marcus Carey. So, uh, you know, we're excited, you know, moving forward.